TV simple again for consumers because of the fact that smart TVs have become very difficult to use. Not only are consumers inundated with a ton of applications, but it's not a really smooth experience. The remote control, you wave it around, and that helps a consumer ground themselves that the remote is based on motion. To do that, we have a character here, his name is Beanbird, or its name is Beanbird, and you actually click on it. And so when the consumer wakes that up, Beanbird becomes a personality within the entire setup process. And that's really important because when you start putting internet into devices, you don't want it to feel like a computer. You want it to feel like an entertainment device. And so Beanbird's personality throughout the setup process helps interact with the consumer and actually makes uh, owning a more uh, tech advanced device more enjoyable. And the, uh, as we watch this, if we try to skip a task like set up your, your set top box, Beanbird will actually throw a little tantrum and a bunch of Beanbirds will also go, what the world is going on? And uh, ask the consumer to go back and go through that process and go through that setup. So there's about nine steps throughout the entire uh, setup process. Beanbird interacts with the consumer throughout all of it, making it more enjoyable to set up your TV and making it really simple to use. The other aspect that we uh, focus on with our smart uh, TVs with WebOS, and I'll just point you guys over here, is we focus a lot on the experience of using the TV every day. So with uh, WebOS TVs, we focus a lot on the user experience and the user design. So with a WebOS TV, everything in the launcher bar is uh, along the bottom and then consumers can stream to the right and access all their features and capabilities of the TV itself. If I go to the left, the TV remembers a history of what I was using on the TV itself. And that's really important because it makes, uh, allows the consumer to instantly access the most commonly used applications really quickly by keeping a history of those applications. So uh, for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to close a couple of things here. I'm just going to go ahead and open Netflix here. With the traditional experience of a smart TV, you open an application, application will load. And if you'll notice, for the most part, Netflix looks the same on both. So Netflix, as, a, as an application, doesn't really change. You still get great movies, you get a great selection of content. But I'm going to go and uh, just open this title here, and just open this title here. So one of the main differences of what a WebOS TV does versus a traditional smart TV is on a smart TV that a consumer is going to purchase uh, this year from any of our competitors, uh, when they press the home button, it actually exits the application. It's a disruptive experience to the consumer. So if a consumer wanted to get back into what they just watched on Netflix, they'd have to go back into Netflix, find the asset they just chose, and hit play again. A WebOS smart TV, if I hit the home button, Netflix continues to play in the background. It's still working, so I can go look and see if there's other applications I want to peruse or take a look at. If I just saw something cool on Netflix and I need to look it up online, I can just go and hit the web browser there. It opens the web browser for me and I can go and do my research. But the significant thing is, if I go back and try to open Netflix again, what Netflix does, it actually resumes where it last left off. And that's really a significant experience. The apps behave more like channels than they do like applications. And that is what TVs, smart TVs, need to do in the market. So those are the three things that we talk about when talking about uh, WebOS Smart TV. Simple setup, simple to use, and simple to connect.